Bill Shine, President Donald Trump's White House Deputy Chief of Staff and Communications Director has stepped down, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders announced in a statement Friday. A former Fox News executive, Shine joined the White House in July 2018, the sixth person to fill or be tapped for the top communications role. Jason Miller, Sean Spicer, Mike Dubke, Anthony Scaramucci and Hope Hicks all came before him. Shine's effectiveness inside the West Wing came with mixed results, and it was unclear how much he was able to change the White House's communications strategy. One source close to the White House told CNN that Trump had questioned Shine's judgment on a number of issues in recent months, from the midterm election to the government shutdown. He offered his resignation to President Donald Trump on Thursday. Serving President Trump, and this country has been the most rewarding experience of my entire life. To be a small part of all this president has done for the American people has truly been an honor. I'm looking forward to working on President Trump's re-election campaign and spending more time with my family," Shine said in a statement. Shine had been slated to travel with Trump to Vietnam for the second North Korea summit, but unexpectedly dropped off the trip two days before, according to an administration official. While administration officials were in Hanoi, Shine was wandering the halls of the Conservative Political Action Conference. Asked why he was there, he declined to answer. According to White House sources, Trump had been increasingly disappointed in Shine for at least a few months, believing him ineffective and not what he'd hoped for when he hired him. Shine's role basically became the person who adjusted the lighting and focused the cameras, and he showed no ability to shape a narrative or communication strategy. Months into his tenure, Shine's contribution had largely consisted of phoning Fox News hosts and booking officials on the shows so they can defend the president on a network whose audience largely already favors him, something that had caused some unease inside and outside the West Wing. Trump, who often has unrealistic expectations of what his staff can accomplish, had complained about Shine privately at times, noting he hadn't received better coverage since he hired him.